college lineup. Two changes to the 11 that beat Mannings at Stetson midweek. One of the changes position was positional. Louis Watson reverts the left back from left wing. Wednesday's left back playing BM is on the bench. Jaheem Johnson starts in attack instead. So KC going for a 4-3-3. Yeah, and it's a very fluid system, one which they've played very well. But coach, uh, is very, Bernard is very pleased with the back four. Clarendon College, no changes to the starting 11 that edged a Charlie Smith a 2-1 in their quarterfinal on Wednesday. Jamil Vaslin goal, Ricardo Beckford, Jain Rose, Akima Jones, Tamar Dunn, who scored their opening goal, Malachi Douglas, Jaheem Rose, who scored the winner from the penalty spot, Radcliffe Seavright, Rashai Parchment, watch him, Christopher Hall, and Kahim Dixon of well, let's have a look at the full highlights then from this contest. Clarendon College actually started well. Kingston College, though, getting the first couple of shots in. That one from Renato Berger, a curling right-footed effort wide of the mark. This one headed wide of the mark as well for Clarendon College. The Kingston College captain, Barkley, looked good, I thought, especially in that first half. The left-footed effort just wide of the mark. Just look at how good he is with the ball at his feet, creating space for himself, but the shot wide and then this one was on target pro producing a smart save from Jamil Vassal. Steve Wright got into the contest and the, that right footed effort from the Clarendon College number two coming off the crossbar. Second half well, still in the first half towards the end, Jaim Johnson with an opportunity just completely missing it. Embarrassing moment for the 16-year-old. And that shot from Jaheem Rose at the end of the first half, saved by David Martin in goal for KC. Second half now, Kingston College looking to get that go-ahead goal. Berger just couldn't get that ball under his control. Pearson with a shot, brilliantly saved by Jamil Vassal. And they couldn't poke home the follow-up. But good work there from Perga. Good attempt. And uh, Jaim Johnson arriving, but couldn't get it on target. Kaim Dixon with a right footed effort, just trying to open his body up, but couldn't open his body up enough to really test goalkeeper uh, David Martin. And uh, he provided a few issues, but he was always up against it in terms of the numbers. This one pulled back. And the shot coming from Demario McCarthy initially blocked. There it is from McCarthy. Good block coming up and then cleared. Then finally, in the 86th minute, Clarendon College. Ball stolen here of the boot of Khalifa Richards. And Dixon inside the box, firing through the legs of goalkeeper David Martin, who you feel should have done a lot better with that. Just have a look, a comedy of errors in the Kingston College defence leading to that goal. So many opportunities to stop Dixon. And the goalkeeper as well should have done so much better. 1-0 in the 86th minute for Clarendon College. And you got the feeling that would have been enough to win it based on what had happened. But then they would get the best goal of the match. This was class. Beautiful chip inside coming from Manakai Douglas and the finish from Christopher Hall. Brilliant as well. Tremendous composure and confidence. Look at this. Just ticks it down on the chest and uh, slips it past the advancing David Martin. Clarendon College 2, Kingston College 0. Clarendon College through to the Champions Cup final.